This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. Hello to all my favorite people. I'm Lucy. I chat about photography, photo editing, and creative business. Today, we're gonna to talk about the new masking features within Lightroom. These are such amazing tools because they actually utilize AI. And I really only found out how amazing these features are this week, even though I think they've been in the update for a couple months. Um, but hey, they were. I was sleeping on them. I didn't realize how amazing they are and how much of a ridiculous time saver it is. So if you experience heartache and tears and many, many hours creating your masks, um, this is gonna change everything. So let's jump into it. So we're here in Lightroom and today I'm gonna edit some in-studio fashion photos. This is the final photo with everything applied that we're gonna get to. And here is the before. So you can see between the two quite a huge difference even though we haven't really changed the integrity of the photo too much. We've just given it that kind of clean, airy vibe. So I'm just gonna pop over here. This is the masking tool within Lightroom. And then I'm gonna expand this little panel so that we can see all of the masks that I already have on this photo. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make all of these. I just wanted to show you what we're working towards first. So as you can see, I have a bunch of different layers. So I have here a background mask. This is only going to isolate only the background of the photo. Next up, I have the model layer. Now, this is really important. This is only skin and the hair. So just those elements of the model. Then I have a clothing mask. This one actually isn't like an innate AI uh, selection for Lightroom, but I'm gonna show you guys how to hack it. And I also have an extra preset for skin smoothing, which again, is only selecting the skin. It doesn't select hair or those kind of lips, eyes, only on the skin. And then I can add that extra layer of skin smoothing. So as you can see, amazing how easy that is and then you can go in and edit each of those layers so now i'm going to show you how to make each of these yourself so now i'm going to pop over to a copy of this photo with my basic edits applied but none of the masking applied to it now what i used to do was just click select subject and so what this will do is it selects the subject of the photo so as you can see the entire model, the clothing, uh, the hair, everything, um, which was a total headache. So now we don't need to do it that way. So I'm gonna delete that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our masking tool and we're gonna scroll down a bit and we can actually select people. Now this is what we wanna be using if we're working with a model. Uh, so I'm gonna select person one and now you can either select the entire person, this is gonna be similar to that subject tool, or we're gonna deselect that, and we could say we just want the face skin and the body skin. And so this could be something that we could use to create a skin smoothing effect. So now I'm gonna go ahead, click Create Mask. I have it here. For my own purposes, I'm going to rename this. Um, super smooth skin. And then once we have the mask highlighted, we can go in and just change that element. So I could bring that clarity way down so that I have like perfect, perfect skin. Um, maybe bring up the shadows a little bit. We could play with the exposure. But as you can see, if I go over here and turn that off and on, I'm just changing only the skin. Like guys, this is so amazing that I could do that in two clicks so easily. So as you can see, now we can create as many masks like this as we want. So I'm gonna go create new mask. Again, select people. Uh, gonna select the person there. Now I'm gonna show you guys the hack if you want to make it so it will select basically just the clothing. As you can see, we don't have that as an option here that it will automatically do. So we do it in a kind of a little backwards way. So what we're gonna actually do here is we're gonna keep it with entire person. So now I have everything selected, even though I just want the clothing. Bear with me, we're gonna hit create mask. Next, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna click on that mask, head over here to subtract, select people, so person again, 
Now what we're going to do is select the AI elements that we want to not show up. So now basically I don't want any of face, body, skin, eyebrows. I want to take all of those out. That's what I'm doing right now. So now we're going to say create mask. So now I actually created a negative on all of those elements. So now on this mask, you can see I have just the clothing elements of the subject selected. I know you can see a little bit of the overlay around certain elements, but there's no perfect way to get rid of that at this point, but it's so minimal that I haven't noticed it show up in my photos. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click those dots, I'm gonna rename this. So now as we can see here, that is only the clothing. Now another reason why I love to isolate the clothing in photos is that you might want to make those elements pop a bit more now. For instance, this is actually product photo for the dress, so we really want it to stand out. So in that mask layer, I'd go up and I'd bring up the sharpness on my clothing layer, um, I'd probably bring up the texture a little bit, maybe a little bit on the shadows and exposure. I don't really do too much with saturation because like I said, I need the colors to stay true to real life, but if you don't need that, then you know you can have fun like with saturation, pumping it up and stuff like that. Um, but bringing a little bit of contrast to it, I think really, really, enhances the clothing, kind of makes it pop off the background and the model. So you can go ahead and create a mask for any of these things, eyebrows, iris, lips, if you just wanted to change the lipstick color, but you can also go in and create masks for many, many things, the sky, another subject, or selecting the background. I usually always do have a background selection too now in my masks because I find that I like to increase the exposure of that background and the highlights, and sometimes I either wanna cool it or I wanna warm it up. Okay, so once you have all your mask layers applied, that's great, you're basically done, unless you have a collection of photos and you want to apply those same mask layers to all the photos in the group. So I'm gonna go over to the picture that has all my uh, um, layers and masks applied. You can just highlight all the photos you wanna edit and click sync and then again, hit all the different elements that you want to copy. Right now, I'm just gonna copy the masking and hit synchronize. And now it's gonna do that across all those photos and I'm basically one and done and I don't have to do any manual masking, which is so awesome. So now, as we can see, all of these different photos have been edited. Uh, there is the before on that one, there is the after, and if I pop over to my masks, they are all there, so if I needed to go in and change anything, I definitely could. All right, so you've learned how to create AI masks and copy and sync them across a group of photos. Next, we're gonna learn how to take this to a whole nother level by creating AI presets so that this will be a total breeze to use in the future and edit all of your photos with. But first, if you're like me and you edit a ton of photos in bulk, whether that be for product photography, weddings, or events, that probably means that you are doing this as a business and you're probably looking for other ways to grow and level up your photography business as well. Now, you guys know that I'm a big fan of PPA and the benefits that they offer for entrepreneurs and their community of 34,000 photographers. So once you join PPA, you get up to $15,000 in equipment coverage. This is something all photographers should 100% have considering how expensive all this gear is. They also have data loss prevention services, so you get help with data loss recovery and legal issues if you have an unhappy client because of that. And of course, PPA's education platform features over 900 videos, tutorials, and classes on how to grow your photography business. And another element I totally love is their monthly magazine. There's so much good inspo in here and really, really interesting stories. So if you guys wanna get PPA, click that link in the description below and you're gonna get a discount from me today on your membership. All right, let's get into how to create those AI presets. Let's pop over to a new group of photos to add these presets. So as you can see here on the presets panel, I've created a bunch of my own AI presets. So I'm just saving those different masks that I make 
into easy presets so it's one click. So here there is my photo with just the basic edits. Then I can go AI preset apparel all, and that's going to apply my most used um, masks. So you can see it created each of those masks individually, and it did an amazing job on its own of creating those different layers. The clothing mask, great. The model mask, great. It just intelligently did that. Now I can still continue to layer on top of this if I would like. So I'm gonna add um, my blown out windows preset there. Um, and let's do some extra skin smoothing. So it's extra flawless. So now you can see I have all of these different masks automatically created and I can go in and change them however I like. I just didn't have to do the creation process again. So if you want to create your own preset, here's how you're gonna do it. Head over to the preset window. We're gonna hit the plus button, create preset. And here we can either check all, and this does all your edits. I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna make the presets on masking. In this case, I'm gonna do one again that has everything, my skin smoothing, my blown out window, my background mask, all of my main things. So we're gonna say new, AI, apparel, preset, everything. <laughs> and then that preset is gonna pop up right there. So now all I need to do, if I go on to a new photo and I wanna edit it and I want all those same masks to be automatically created for me, I'm gonna hit new AI preset, everything. It's gonna take a second to think about it because we're putting a lot on there. And then it automatically adds those edits. So there is the before and there is the after. So you can create as many presets individually or with as many masks as you like, but it really makes your life so easy to have that there. Click on your preset and automatically in seconds create all those masks so you don't have to do that every single time. There's the before and there's the after and there is the, if I wanna turn off all the mask layers and turn it back on, you can see how drastic those changes are and what a good job it did of selecting those different elements. All right, so that's how easy it is now to do masking with AI and create awesome AI powered presets to save yourself so much time. Once again, if you guys wanna check out PPA and get a membership, I'm gonna give you a discount today. So click that link in the description if you wanna sign up. Of course, always let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, love you lots.